All right. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Here we go. Venturing out into the day, I think. Um, yeah, we're gonna go out there, I guess. Ah, good morning, guys. See you on the other side of the intro. <laughs> Funny, this is the last place I filmed from. Um, let's see, tree, 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 tree. You guys never answer me on. Maybe you're not even interested in it. Maybe you're not interested in my tree. Anyway, so here we are. Here's the tree today. But you guys didn't answer me on whether you wanted me to do a montage every day, or just one at the end after it's lost all of its leaves. So somewhere in there, probably right there is going to be. There we go. Click right there. Yes. Okay. But look, look at the leaves on the ground. And it's almost time to put up Christmas lights and hopefully do the final mow on the yard. All right, so working on cars. Also, I think I'm gonna get this panel into the into the room. These things are heavy. I told you that the other panels were 52 pounds. This one here, because it's got all this other stuff on it, a drop panel, I wanna guess weighs like 60 pounds. It's freaking heavy. I'm procrastinating and recovering. I'm still recovering from the other day. Actually, I'm all right. Not really, but I'll say that I'm all right. There you go. <sighs> One drop panel in. Could have swore that that was four feet wide, but apparently I, I it's not. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Can I rest now? So I got painstakingly all the panels moved except for the big haunt mirror, just because that haunt mirror, oh my gosh, that thing's huge. And you guys always know that everything comes in threes and sometimes like things just like suck. Well, I was driving the truck back home and the oil light came on and I'm like, my heart stops. I'm like, oh crap, okay. Because if your red oil light comes on, you need to shut the engine off because that means that there's no oil circulation. I checked the oil level. Oil level's full. Which means one of two things. Either the sending unit's not working or the engine actually has low oil pressure. <laughs> So I'm on my way now to get a new sending unit. I don't have a tester for uh, oil pressure. So, and the sending unit's like under 20 bucks. So, <laughs> well, it took me longer than I had anticipated, but the oil pressure sending unit has been changed. I let it run for a while. The oil light did not come back on. Typically, if you have like an oil pressure problem, the light is gonna come on. When the vehicle cools or it gets warm, because oil gets thinner when it gets warm. So anyway, I want to take it on its additional maiden voyage. Let's see if we're fixed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Toes crossed. What? 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 Literally, I'm not doing anything. I'm standing here. I just got there using the bathroom, and if you had to know. And, and I just started saying what to her, and she gets excited because she thinks that something's going on, which is really funny. And I'm such a big tease. What? Man. All right, guys. So, you know something? I think that Troy's going to try and go to bed. Oh, gosh. I always say this. Not even going to say it. You already know what I'm going to say. I'm going to try and cut this short today. I'm really tired. I need sleep. And the most important thing is I think the truck is going to be A-O-T. Hi. 
Hi, mate. What? Thank you. Why are you climbing on me? Why are you sniffing me? Why are you climbing on me and sniffing me? Get your nose out of my belly button, dog. Jeez. I, I have just been violated. Honestly, guys, today has been a really stressed out day for me. There's just so much going on that I have attempted to sell the CB in my truck through OfferUp. Oh, coffee. I forgot about that. Um, and and <sighs> OfferUp is not that good. It's just bad as Craigslist. I had a, a, a flake who's been talking to me about my CB. I'm selling my CB for 20 bucks. And the guy's like, does it work? I'm like, of course it works. Today was the second attempt for, to, to, are you tired too? I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to even go into it. it it's, it's, it, have you guys had like Craigslist or, oh, that's it. That's it. Post it down in the comments. If you guys have, uh, dealt with, uh, with yawning dogs. That's it. That's it. That's what I want you guys to do. Post down in the comments uh, your guys' offer up, Craigslist, classified ad horror story. I want to hear him. I mean, I don't really have any that I can really think of. Just like a lot of people being like flakes and stuff like that. Nothing really bad that I can think of. Mmm. -hmm coffee yeah the heat kicked in in my house I've got the thermostat set at 50 degrees <laughs> it's cold in here I have to bump it up because my son's coming Phoenix is coming tomorrow so that's awesome so I'm gonna have to turn up the heat so that he's comfortable I'm not gonna have him in a house I can deal with 50 degrees I don't want my son dealing with that okay and because I said something it is now not early anymore so Troy's not going to bed early tonight anyway but I will be going to bed earlier tonight than I have the last four so that's a good thing so speaking of four it's time for some cock I have no idea what that has to do with it but I'm sure that somebody can make a correlation Jason Christopher 77 amongst others including Capzone 2, who you were first, and you say, I win. And you also say, you really need a Hummer. No comment. Tyler Bocamp, you said first, but eh, you were inched out by uh, Capzone 2. Jolson still wins. Jason Christopher 77, that's not a truck, that's a Jeep. Oh my God, for bloody hell, a Jeep is a fucking truck. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. I, I think it is. Timothy Jones. Okay, here's an idea for Patreon supporters. For $20 or more, they get to decide if Jolson or Ram gets a pie to the face. <laughs> Happy haunting. P.S. I would love to help you out, but I'm a pickle. I'm in a pickle myself. Okay, you're not a pickle. You're in a pickle, which is probably just as bad. But I thank you. It is the thought that counts, so they say. And uh, I don't know. We'd have to talk to uh, Jolson and Ram, but I'm pretty sure that um, uh, I don't. I don't think Ram would. I don't think Ram would do that. He hasn't even put beans on his head yet. I'm just saying. Nuxfan23. This is an awesome comment, so I'm going to say thank you uh, ahead of time. Uh, hey, wow, so it's been a while. Four years, actually. Wow, I'm so sorry for all the shit that you've been going through the past years, but I'm so glad that you're doing much better. It's great seeing you happy, even if there are still some struggles going on. Try catching up a bit. Watch the few vlogs here and there. Kept me up till 5 o'clock in the morning last night. <coughs> And I saw Phoenix all growing up. I remember watching the vlogs during his time in the womb and his birth. It's crazy. He's a beautiful kid, and I'm praying for the best to come to you. Thank you. Wow, look at that. I was saved by the computer noise. That's awesome. Uh, but again, thank you. That's that's very nice. Uh, Emerald Gypsy Art. No, that's a Jeep. Oh, uh, no, no, whatever. UK Haunt, dude, I feel you. Whoa. Whoa, it's a little personal, don't you think? Just kidding. Uh, wish I had the cash just to give away. Uh, you would be one of my first friends I help. Oh, thank you very much. You know, it's, I, it was interesting. I, I've got a, friends now down at the auto parts store, and uh, they asked me, uh, what can we do for you today? And I'm like, uh, silver platter, million dollars, please? <laughs> and and they're like, yeah, well, if I get that, you're going to have to share. It's like, yeah, I don't need a million dollars. I just need, like, 50000 That's all I need. <laughs> That's all I need is this chair and this remote control and nobody gets this reference because nobody re remembers Steve Martin and the jerk. What do you think I am? Some kind of jerk or something? Yeah, you guys, man. I tell you, every day that goes by is another day that we all get older and it seems like I am accelerating that process somehow. Carrie Ann Olson, the Energize, that's like someone who doesn't like bacon, talking about pecan pies. And the Energize actually responded and said, well, I don't dislike bacon, but not a huge fan of that either. 
Carrie Ann Olson, I wish I could support you on Patreon. Well, thank you. I do appreciate it. The Energized. Uh, oh my god, I laughed so much when you dropped the camera. But seriously, Troy, your boy is so right on this one. By the way, what is Phoenix's favorite pie? I don't know. I would say probably chocolate. Yeah, I don't think he's had a lot of pie. And Phoenix Fire 71, I don't like pecan... <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I actually coughed right there. I just covered it up pretending to laugh. Um... But no, that's horrible. Um, I'll eat the top, but the middle disgusts you. I love the middle. The middle is so sweet. It's like one of the sweetest sweet things that you'd ever eat in your life. And it's so delicious. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I'm going to bake a, a caramel pecan cheesecake pie this weekend. I'll let you know how it turns out. Oh, it sounds very good. Baldy Jack says pumpkin pie. Greta Boss, Troy, send me the recipe for the pecan pie, please. Well, you know, it is a family secret recipe that's been in my family for the last 10 years. I'm not sure I can share it. Because all you have to do is go to the back of your favorite Carol syrup and there it is. Pecan pie right there. That's it. That's what I use. It's still delicious. But mine's better because I make mine with love. Adam S. When are you going to put up your Christmas trees and Christmas decorations? Uh, most likely the uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Hi, Buffy. So nice of you to join us. Look how pretty you are. Nope, no poop mouth tonight. Yay! Just blow that antique lamp. Better not have a ghost attached to it. That wouldn't be cool. And you were actually uh, the, the final comment of the night, too, but you were talking about some stuff about the RAM and the contest and stuff. So, all right, guys. Happy hunting. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will see you tomorrow, as always. Because do you know why? I do this every day. Oh, and, and, I am in the process right now of looking for... This sounds really bad now that I'm trying to think about it, and I know it's going to sound bad after I say it, but it sounds okay in my head. Um, I'm looking for a female local <laughs> um, to continue the sign project. I, I have another scene for the signs that I want to uh, film, and I'm, I'm looking for, I want to say, like a female model, but it's not just a model. It's, you know, oh, I could probably use Parajetta too. I'm sure that she might be up for it. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for, for somebody to uh, help film one of these. So anyway, I, I'm just throwing that out there to let you know that I do have stuff that I am working on aside from what you guys see every day. So there's just some stuff you guys don't know that you'll be privy to yeah, when it happens. The sign project has now been going on for what, a year? Almost? No, not quite. Almost a year. It'll be a year uh, in a couple months. Um, let's not talk about everything else that, uh, that I, I haven't done that I need to do because I have a list of it. Right up here, there's a list. And there's there's stuff all back there too. There's stuff I haven't done. There's stuff over there that I haven't done. Like up there, like all that's automotive channel stuff that I, I... Man, I'll tell you, there's just not enough hours. All right, there's not enough hours in the day. On that note, again, guys, happy holidays. See you tomorrow. Um, but while you were waiting, yeah, were y'all well? Nah. Um, but while you were waiting,